You've likely heard of the law of attraction, being told to think positive, make a vision board, and send your vibrations out to the universe. But if you've tried this and the promised results didn't appear, it's easy to feel frustrated or like you have failed. The truth is you haven't failed. You've just been using an incomplete map. The real secret to changing your life isn't in the cosmos, it's inside your head. As a psychologist with also a master's degree in physiology who emphasize on studying the neurobiology of learning and memory, I can tell you manifestation isn't magic. It's your brain performing its natural function. So let's set aside the cosmic energy and talk about your biological mechanisms occurring in your brain that may potentially be responsible for this. Starting with your reticular activating system, then we'll get into neuroplasticity, and then talk a little bit more in detail about the neural pathways that shape your reality. These are the science-backed tools you can use to actively build on a new goal and a new life. Popular manifestation is often sold as a passive activity, caused on vibes and the idea that our thoughts alone can bend the world to our will. This approach often leads to disappointment and self-blame. When thinking about wealth, doesn't make a check magically appear. It can foster a sense of helplessness, making people feel like victims of circumstances. And real manifestation isn't passive passive wishing. It's an active process of aiming and training your brain. So what is actually happening on a neurobiological level? Deep in the brainstem is a bundle of neurons called the reticular activating system. Think of it as your brain's personal spam filter. It shifts through billions of bits of information every second, deciding what gets your conscious attention or not. You've experienced your reticular activating system at work. Ever been in a loud room, completely tuned out until someone says your name? Or after deciding you want a specific car and suddenly you start seeing it everywhere? It's not that more of these cars are appearing. You just told your reticular activating system that this information is now important to pay attention to. This is the first mechanical step. When you set a clear, specific goal, you're actively programming your reticular activating system. You give it a new command to scan your world for related opportunities and resources that were always there but previously filtered out as irrelevant. You haven't changed the world around you. You've changed the filter through which you perceive it. And let me say that one more time. You haven't changed the world around you. You've changed the filter through which you perceive it. So the reticular activating system is now spotting opportunity. So to build the mindset to actually act on them, you need neuroplasticity. We now know the adult brain constantly changes and reorganizes itself based on our experiences, our thoughts, our behaviors. In neuroscience, the saying is, the neurons that fire together, wire together. So think of your limiting beliefs for a second as well-worn ski runs on a snowy mountain. They're deep, fast, and easy for your brain to follow. To create a new belief, you must carve a new path in fresh snow. I know it's kind of a dumb example, but it works. So stay with me here. Each repetition strengthens the synaptic connection, making the new path more clear and much faster. A practical way to carve these new paths is really a very straightforward example that many of us used to do and don't do because of our phones now, is physically writing down our goal. So one of the things about this idea of manifestation is like write your goal, make a vision board, attach an emotion to it and how badly you want it. And basically just writing down the goal engages both kinesthetic and visual memory, emotional memory, sending stronger signals of importance to your brain and accelerating the process of building new neural circuits. This also goes even deeper in learning of associative learning like Pavlov's model, many of you guys may be a bit aware of. If this makes sense and you want more science-backed strategies to take control of your life, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, you subscribe, or if you're watching this on Instagram or any other social media platform, please follow us. We skip the pseudoscience and focus on practical brain-based tools. So you've programmed your reticular activating system and are rewiring your brain. But what drives you to do the actual work? Well, that comes down to brain chemistry. So first is the neurotransmitter dopamine. It's more than the feel-good chemical. It's the motivation molecule. Research shows your brain releases dopamine not just when you achieve a reward, but in anticipation of it. So vividly visualizing your success 
gives you a small hit of dopamine, creating the chemical drive to pursue the real reward. So you can actually increase motivation by just visualization. Second is mental rehearsal. This technique is used by elite performers. A famous study illustrated this perfectly. So basically, researcher took a basketball team and split the players into three groups to test their free throw outcomes. The first group practiced physically for an hour every day. The second group didn't touch a basketball, but simply visualized making perfect free throws. And the third group did nothing at all. After 30 days, they brought all the players back and the group that practiced physically improved by 24%. The group that did nothing at all showed no improvement, but the group that visualized improved by 23%, almost as much as those who physically practiced. This is insane if you really think about it. So when you're thinking about a goal, right, and you're imagining yourself executing that goal, you activate many of the same neural circuits as you would by actually doing it. This is thanks to mirror neurons, which are brain cells that fire both when we perform an action and when we observe someone else performing it. Mental rehearsal is basically a simulation that strengthens the neural blueprint you'll need for the real performance. So science-based manifestation is an active four-stage process. First, you set a clear intention, this programs your reticular activating system to find opportunities that are already hiding in plain sight. Second, you use focused repetition to leverage neuroplasticity. This physically rewires your brain, carving new neural pathways for empowering habits. Third, you use visualization to get a hit of dopamine. This creates the chemical drive to take action. And finally, you use mental rehearsal to prime your brain for that action, building skill and confidence before you even start. So the power to change your life isn't out there in the cosmos. It's been inside of your brain all along. You have the neurological tools to start building a new reality, one thought, one action, and one neural pathway at a time. What goals are you programming your brain for? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and the support.